Hello, hello, long time no see. It has been, oh, about six months or so. Well, at least since last fall or maybe even last summer. But yes, we're back. It is April 1st. Happy April 1st, April Fools. Or if you like to ignore the Gregorian calendar and have the spring equinox be your first of the year, happy new year to you. Because that's what we do here at, yes, another name change, High Vibe Electric Gardens. So yes, here we are. I thought I'd show you guys around at what the yard looks like right now, what our plans are, and uh, yeah, kind of see how things are gonna go this year. So here we go. Let's show you what's going on. Okay, so the first biggest thing that we've done so far since last year is move my lovely little pink she shed slash witchy shack, what have you. So that is now up in the front. It used to be way back there. You kind of can't really see it because of the trellising, but we have got a really big bare spot back there. Um, that is going to turn into, it was, where the, see, you can kind of see it. Now, in case you all didn't know, and in case you all are new, welcome, by the way, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. If you're new, then give me a like, a subscribe, if you like what you see, and uh, be on a journey with us. And if you're returning, good to see you again. So this is where the shed was and what we're going to do here <clears throat> future plans that we're going to start working on this year is going to be a mushroom patch if you will so we're going to uh, get some logs in here inoculate some logs and uh, start a little mushroom patch around here so that we can have as many mushrooms as we can possibly grow over here, <clears throat> we're going to be doing a pond. So this tree is going to act as, uh, this tree right here is going to act as a end point for the pond. And it's going to go basically all along right here. It's going to be kind of a, like a swimming pond. You know, it's going to be long and narrow, if you will, because we've got elderberries and raspberries starting over here. We'll see if the Northern Michigan winter did them well or not. I'm anxious to find out what will come up this year and what will not. Um, we are very novice and to some degree on a lot of different things in our new homestead. Um, but you know, we, we struggle and we learn and that's what we all need to do every, t every time, don't we? That's how we learn. We learn by failure. So this is gonna be a grow space here. And then we're gonna have an actual yard in the middle right here. All of this is going to be basically leveled out. It's kind of a mess. Yes, it is. So it's all gonna be leveled out right now. And then we're gonna make our little our little paths down each aisle okay so this is all going to be leveled out and then we're going to make our own little little hangout yard over here with all of our furniture which is scattered all the way around the yard right now and then we're going to be making i have we have a couple of raised beds that have started already we have this raised bed right here we have this raised bed right here and then we have that raised bed over there. We have another one along this side right here over beyond the couch and another one right here, you can see. So we're gonna be adding many more beds this year. Super excited about this bed. I'll probably do an extra little video on this, but check that out. That, my dear friends, if I can show you one close up, that, my dear friends, is garlic our very first year of 
planting garlic and trying garlic. This is store-bought garlic. Again, I'm gonna do another separate video on this, so I'm not going to spend time here, but we're, I'm so excited. We're both very excited that we have garlic, but our plans for our beds is to increase production, increase grow space, right? So this bed is going to be elongated. It's gonna use those two big mounds there. It's going to be elongated that way. I was thinking about elongating it this way, but I may not. I may just save this little spot for, for yard hangout stuff. Hello, Attila. How you doing, buddy? And then this one, this one is going to extend this way. So it's gonna go out that way. And then it's also gonna extend this way. At the end of this, it's gonna go out this way to there. So we're gonna have kind of a, a little horseshoe shape of a thing there. We're gonna have an L shape on this one. Okay, this one we'll probably add on to, but I'm not entirely sure. This is our Hugel culture mound. Um, I would like to, and this is gonna be futuristically, right? This is, we're gonna work on this slowly but surely this year. But right here, I wanna have another little grow space right here and another little grow space right here, okay? We have our, is it, is it trellis? I don't know if it's trellis. It's basically this area. This area right here, which, you know, always needs work after winter because this is not actual, the really stiff cattle fencing that usually you use. It's just regular kind of flimsy fencing, if you will. So it does kind of lose its shape and the, the weight of the snow really weighs it down. So we have to fix it each year. But this year we're going to have all of our trellising stuff, our tomatoes and, you know, our cucumbers and, you know, things like that are going to be all in here. We're going to be trellising other things elsewhere as well. But, and then right over here where these stumps are, these are some log stumps. This is going to be a wildflower patch. Oh yeah. And then over here, see all this is going to be a nice little walkway. We're going to nice, get it nice and leveled out. Here we have our raised bed. This is basically gonna be, it's a mess. This is all our extra wood and everything. But once I get this cleaned out soon, soon, um, this is gonna be kind of our lettuce bed because, you know, lettuce can start early and this is the bed that pretty much can be worked quickest from the mall um, right now, I think. So this is gonna be our succession planting of lettuce this spring. So I'm excited for that. This right here, you can see this is kind of an area right here that needs some help, right? So this right here is also going to be a grow spot. We're going to make this into a raised bed coming in. So we'll have one aisle in here, one aisle in here. There'll be another aisle in right here. It'll just, you know, it'll, it'll be good. It's, you got to get the whole picture, the whole picture. It'll be all nice and cut up and all kinds of new little spots to plant things. It'll be great. It'll be great. We have a mess to clean up over here. Attila keeps wanting to dig in here and find all the little animals that are in here. And you know, we try to tell him, no, there's a lot of dangerous stuff in there, but he doesn't listen to us. Here we have chosen to uh, create a compost uh, uh, cylindrical thing, if you will. <laughs> This is where we put our compost in for the last uh, for the last several months during the winter because it's not fun to walk in the very cold out to very far places. So we did start a compost thing there. This is our strawberry patch, which I am very anxious to see how many more strawberries come in. And we're probably eventually going to go ahead and extend this out just a little bit, probably just as far as these are right here so that it takes up all this whole area because we love strawberries, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. So yes, that is uh, the space for my hubby's uh, hobby garden. So this is his space right here. This is gonna be our space in the middle. Okay, gonna hang out there and then this all over here is gonna be garden space. And this is just the backyard. 
just the garden in the backyard. This doesn't need, we haven't even talked about anything else, like at all. Let's go see what's over here. Over here, we're gonna be doing some trees, as well as hopefully some grapes if we can get them going. We have a cherry tree in here right now that again, hoping it survived the winter and uh, it comes back to us. We have some grapes that we tried last year, but they did not last. They did not last, they did not succeed. So we'll try and try again until they do. And this all needs to be cleaned up. It's gonna be, these are uh, trees that are gonna be dug up and we're gonna be putting some fruit trees in their place. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen on this end. And eventually we're going to, well, actually this year, we need to start buying the trees that we want because it does take a while for those to mature, don't you know? We're gonna be putting a orchard, if you will, in the front yard. So we're gonna be putting about, I don't know, anywhere between four to eight trees in the front yard, depending on space and where that's gonna go. What you doing over there, big guy? So this area right here, I'm not gonna get into it big time because I'll do a separate video for this too. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh, baby? You big boy. Are you the big silly boy? Yes, are you a big silly boy? You big silly boy. So this is actually going to be my witchy herbal pharmacy garden is where this is all gonna be. So I have the pharmacy here. This is basically this whole little spot, this wild area that's dirt is my pharmacy with an F. Pharmacy with an F. This is my wild, things that are wild that I'm just gonna let grow wild. They're perennials, they come up every year like mulein, like uh, uh, purslane, like chamomile, like uh, all kinds of all kinds of crap. It's all gonna be in here. So that is where that is. And then the rest of it's, it's all gonna be fenced in and the rest of it's gonna be raised beds and kind of designed beds, witchy like. And uh, this is gonna be my new little witchy garden. I'm gonna paint the shed. We're gonna get it nice and perfect and ready for me. So it's gonna be great. Right now, it doesn't look the greatest. Right now, it needs some work. Right now, we need to clean it out. <laughs> but that's okay. Soon. And pretty soon, because it is what? You get out of there. Because it is April 1st. Happy April 1st. Get out of there. We are going to be starting to work. Oh. You don't talk back to me. What are you doing talking back to me? We are going to be starting to work the ground. Look at this. Look at this. It looks like we've got a perennial out here. This is, oh my God, what did I plant here? I believe this is, uh, that's not Swiss chard, is it? That's Swiss chard. I think that's Swiss chard and it's coming up again. Well, would you look at that? I've got some baby Swiss chard coming up. I am, I am happy about that. That's a nice little surprise, guys. Check that out. Check that out. I wonder what else is gonna come up here. Look at, I've already got some, some, uh, what is this? I always forget what my, what everything is. I can't even see where I'm at. Where am I? Where's my hand? There's my hand. I'm over here. These. What are those? <laughs> Everything's getting green. Spring is in the air, everybody. Spring is in the air, so. That is a very quick walkthrough on what we're looking like right now before we get digging, if you will, so to speak, pun intended. <laughs> so yeah, lots of work to do and we're excited to do it. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining and you're gonna be seeing more of us. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Peace out, everybody.